about to give you all a full inside look at the setup that I've been building for the last few months. This setup is where I do most of my filming, editing, working, streaming, so I really hope you all enjoy. If you're new to the channel, my name's Rillo. I'm a former NASA engineer turned content creator, but that's a story for another video. Today, let's get into the setup. So it's really broken down into two parts. First up, we have the left side of the setup, and if you're wondering where I got anything, I will leave links to everything down in the description. The main purpose of this side is storage. I'm using an IKEA bested storage system to house things like cameras, gear, and products that get sent out to me, pretty much anything that I don't want sitting out in plain sight. Sitting on top of the cabinet is truly a 12-year-old Sonos speaker that still works totally fine, and then this little mushroom lamp that I got from Ikea. I also added a little mini bar area just to balance everything out. Above that is this walnut shelf from Grove Made, and this is just used to hold things like personal items and some extra camera lenses and cameras. To the right of that, we have a PT4C tube light from Amaran, as well as the standing lamp from Ikea and a couple of plants. I decided to mount my bike above everything, mostly to save floor space, but I also just think it looks pretty cool. The bike is a specialized LA E5 Sport, and I absolutely love it. But now that we've seen the storage side, it's time to get into the best part, the setup. Starting with the foundation of the setup, let's talk about the desks. For the main desk, I went with a 74 inch butcher block from Home Depot paired with two Alex drawers and these matte black risers I found on Amazon just to give the whole thing a little bit of height. It was really important to me that I had a dedicated filming area. So that's where this second desk comes into play. It's a 54 inch butcher block from Home Depot paired with a black standing desk frame from Autonomous. I love having the standing desk for this area because it quickly allows me to change the desk height and get a ton of different filming angles. Now I know everyone's gonna ask about this desk that blocks these drawers and I I actually made an entire dedicated short on this, so I'll leave that link below if you're wondering how I solved that problem. I used some configuration of this Amaran 200XS for lighting pretty much every one of my videos, but then I also have this key light mini on the other side just in case I need a little extra light. My main monitor is a 1440p 270 hertz 27 inch Asus monitor, and I absolutely love it. The vertical monitor is a 240 hertz Alienware 25 inch monitor that used to be my main monitor, and now I just use it as a secondary. I use an Elgato low profile arm, which is great because I can tuck it away when I don't actually want to use the mic. And then for the microphone itself, I'm using the Shure SM7B. For the audio interface, I use a Go XLR, and then I also use this Stream Deck Plus, which is great for things like controlling OBS when I decide to stream. Streams down below, come hang out. For the mouse pad, I'm using the Gutsy Aiden Stormtrooper mouse pad that I love. And then for the keyboard, I have a couple, but I typically use the black or the white version of the Mojo 84 by Melgeek. I use a G Pro Superlight mouse 99% of the time, but then I also have this Joe PS5 scuff controller in case I ever want to play any controller games. And then for for the desk camera, I used to use the Sony a6000 with a 16 millimeter lens, but I accidentally fried that camera. So now I'm just using this a7 III that I'm filming this video on. And that's mounted on an Elgato multi-mount system with a tripod head on top. Also to manage all of these cables, I'm just using a $20 cable rack from Ikea. For the headphones, I'm using the Sennheiser HD 6XXs from Drop, and I absolutely love them. They sound phenomenal. And now for my favorite part, which is the PC. For the longest time, I wanted a nice, aesthetic, custom looking PC. I'll list the specs right here but if you're wondering why I'm using a white GPU in an all black build, essentially I had a black 3080 in the build, but MSI sent me out the 4070 Ti in white and I'm all for a performance upgrade. So I threw it in there, even if it looks a little wonky, but I think it looks fine. For the wall art, these are all digital prints off Etsy that I printed out at a local office supply store. We have the Nike swoosh design, the US Grand Prix track, which is the first F1 race I've ever been to, and then a black coffee print because, well, I love coffee. And then on this wall, I decided to mount a couple high ground keyboards using controller mounts. I've seen a lot of people use pegboards for this, but I just wanted something that looked a little bit cleaner and I'm really happy with how this turned out. And then finally for the chair, I'm using the Herman Miller embodied chair. It was not cheap, but it is probably one of the best investments I've ever made. Absolutely love this thing. Could not recommend it enough. And I think that covers just about everything. If you're still here and you enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe. Lots more content coming soon, so I'll see you in the next video. Later.